Hey, what's going on guys? Lost with Custom Offsets. Today's video, we got another episode of From the Gallery for you guys. I brought Junior on this time. We always have a ton of fun rating some trucks and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in today's video. Now, before we hop into it, if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, gear, anything, customoffsets.com. We're also running a new giveaway. Junior's not wearing the shirt, but I do have the hoodie on. Customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway. Let's freaking hop into it. So first up, we got a 1986 Chevy K10 pickup running some Pacer LTs in the 17 by nine, negative 12 offset. Dixie Pack Trail Country EXPs in a 305 65 BDS suspension lift of four inches. Take a look at some details, springs in front, four inch blocks in back, no rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming. And a brand new 350. And a brand new 350, what do you know about that? Taking a look at some photos, box shocks, Steering stabilizers. stabilizers, really freshens it up underneath. It's clean. It's super clean. I like the paint color too. It kind of goes from like more orangey to kind of more brownish. Yeah, I actually dig these wheels. You don't see these pop up a lot in our realm of things, but a lot of guys like to slap huge like TIS hostile wheels on these classic trucks, which I also dig, don't get me wrong, but it is refreshing to see something old school like this done right. You know what would be cool is if this was like that two-tone where it was like brown, but then had like the white too. I just think that'd be kind of cool. Just old truck two-tone kind of goes together. Yeah. But the wheels that I have in here are like the classic like eight hole, like like bullet hole style wheels. Yeah. Um, but they're super cheap is the nice thing about them. They're like less than 700 bucks for a set of four, slap some tires on there and for like less than two grand, you have a wheel and tire set up. That's gonna give you some stance. Look good. This matches the era the truck is from. I dig it. All right, I think I am ready to rate it. Are you? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Three, two, one, seven. Six. Why'd you give it a six? Uh, I just feel like there's more that you could probably do to it. Like he, it's it's very like conservative as is, which yep. if that's kind of, it's it's an older truck, right? If that's like kind of the goal and the look you're going for is to kind of freshen it up without taking away from what it is. Right. I get it. But at the same time, there are things you could do. Interior would be super sick to see like a more modern interior swapped in with some captain's chairs or something mm -hmm. like that. I think that's, that's kind of why I was interested to, to hear what you had to say, just because I've seen like, Obviously, we've all seen what you've done with like the Bronco and stuff like that. You're on the fence, like obviously same, like I could slap some 24s or, you know, I could keep this, the 17s and go a bigger tire or anything like that. But it's so like on the fence where either you need to keep it how it is and just kind yeah. of refreshing some stuff up or you need to take it to the next extreme to take it to the big truck shows and stuff like that. But overall, like cruising with this on a Sunday evening, oh, yeah. you know, summertime evening, go get some ice cream, just cruising down the back road. 10 buddies in the bed of the truck drinking 10 beer. 10 buddies in the bed of the truck, <laughs> 10 girls in the cab, you know what I'm saying? In the single cab. In the single cab. You do you, boo-boo. All right, next up, we got a 2004 Ford F-150, TIS 544s in the chrome, 22 by 14, negative 76 offset, and Amp Mud Terrain Attack MTs in a 35, 13 and a half, rough country suspension lift of six inches. It does rub, minor plastic trimming, still rubs. Yeah, I was gonna say 14 wides and what is it, 35s? Yeah. On a six inch lift is pretty aggressive, Yeah. but he doesn't no care. No spacers. Obviously, aftermarket heads, aftermarket grill, he's got clearance lights on the top, tow mirrors. Tints. Um, He's also got his uh, Rough Country suspension powdered red to match. Those headlights are kind of dope. Yeah. I actually like those. They're still like the 04 to 08 body style. You see a lot of dudes do like the, the double halo like yep. style or the projectors in there too. I don't know if it's just because of the way they're shaped that they're literally like meant for them, but it's just this body style. You see it a ton where dudes are running the halos on them. And I, I'm like, halos are kind of on their way out in my opinion, but like on this body style, it just works and fits because of the shape yeah. of the housings as they are. If it's done right, it definitely makes sense. You know, it's like, don't like halo taking, the world. Yeah, you know? like take Banker's truck, which has like the really skinny headlights yeah. and throw a halo in there. Yeah. It's not gonna work. It's not yeah. meant, it doesn't like have that shape going with exactly. it. Exactly. He's got aftermarket tails too, it looks like, and then a uh, paint to match uh, tonneau cover. Yeah. Do you like the two-tone? I am normally not a huge two-tone guy and I actually dig it on this thing. And that's what I'm trying to kind of figure out. It looks gray here, but there was a photo where it looked more tannish. It also looks kind of black in some areas. Like this- I definitely think, oh, is that reflection though? I know, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. I think it's like a, a dark gray. I think it's like a dark gray. But it doesn't take away from the truck at all. Like yeah. it's, it's red and then dark gray or black and then yeah. chrome wheels. It's not like he went with some crazy color combo that like made it not flow together well. Right. Like it does look good, and especially like look at the mirrors too, how they're like the black with the red like yep. on the cap. So it, there's a lot of the 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 dark gray or black plus the red going on, which I think complements itself well. Absolutely. All right, you ready, ready? All right, three, two, one, eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half. 
You just had to one up me. I had to one up you right here. I think the reason why I went with eight and a half is just because six inch lift. Yeah, it's back in the day, six inches was pretty. Like we're talking if we're trying to go like big crazy build, 10 out of 10 show style, what he would have to do next. I think going up to like an eight inch lift. I would say this is already show style though. I mean, yeah, he's got he's got a bunch done. I would just like to see it a little bit bigger. Probably help with the rubbing too. Yeah, that's a that's a big thing. Like driving with a ton of rubbing is no fun. I mean, yeah, and I don't know, he says it rubs. I don't know if it rubs a lot or yeah. if it's manageable. I don't know exactly how much, but so I like what, that he stuffed that big wheel and tire combo under this. And it, and it does look sick. I'm just picturing yep. like when I'm scrolling down, I see rubs. Otherwise, if you were to add like bumpers too would be pretty cool. Yeah. But then, then again, the bumpers might not tie in with the two-tone on the side. True. It could go either way. This one's a tough one. All right, next up, 2019 Ford F-250 Super Duty, TIS 544 in the black and middle, 24 by 12s, negative 44 offset, Toyota Open Country RTs in a 38, 38. 13 and a half. Eight and a BDS suspension lift of eight inches. Damn! BDS four link, BMF traction bars, no rubbing or scrubbing, uh, no minor plastic, or has minor plastic trimming, minor trim with two wheel drive valence upgrade. Is that a thing? Do people put two wheel drive valences on because they have less clearance or something, or more clearance? I'm not sure. I've never seen that pop up. Upgraded sway bar, track bar, drag link, interior lighting. It's cool to see uh, that he went with like the PMF track bars and also upgraded the drag link. Cause I remember on the K350, that was like a big issue. Uh, so to see him put that on his truck so he didn't have any of those like factory steering issues. Mm -hmm. Cause I know that our K350 did. So he said- No rubbing, minor plastic. No rubbing okay. because he did his minor plastic trimming. Okay. You debate if you're gonna give it a 10 or an 11 or what? No. Why? Because I want a super day? Yes. Doesn't mean I'm gonna give it a 10 or 11. Maybe it's a 12. All right, ready? Yeah, there it is. Three, two, one, eight. Seven. With the eight inch lift kit and only being 12 wides, that's weird. You could stuff 40s at minimum under there. I know in the K350, we have eight, obviously we have aftermarket bumpers, so that helps with clearance, but eight, same lift kit, eight inch super uh, BDS suspension kit. Um, you've got 12 wides. We've got 14 wides on the K350, and then we've got two inch spacers all the way around too. So it's really like 16 wides with 40s, and he's on 12 wides with 38s. He go 40s, if not maybe like 42s or 44s. And that would look mean as hell having that stuffed under here. Yeah. Like 24 by 12s are dope, especially if you're like somewhere where there's a lot of uh, like state troopers or like they don't like wide wheels. 12 wides are a safe bet because you don't have, you have less than half of your wheel pretty much sticking out and you're good to go and you can still go with the 24, which looks great. Just having like a, a 42 or a 44 or 40, something a little bit bigger to kind of help fill out that difference. If you're not going wider, go taller. But. Yeah, I thought it was pretty crazy that, you know, at, at a 38 inch tire, it still looks pretty like small for the wheel and tire package. Like these Super Duties, you can stuff huge setups on and uh, you can tell more so in the rear that there's just so yeah. much gap. But I think it's a solid start. Obviously, like you said, there's there's stuff that comes into factor when we review these trucks. You don't know the city ordinances and the laws. You don't know if this guy daily truck, daily drives his truck every single day. You don't know if he bought it two yeah. days ago. Yeah. And it's also personal preference on top of that. So yeah. it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, but as far as, uh, you know, what I'm kind of thinking, that's kind of where I was at as well. You know, a little bit of a bigger wheel and tire package to really push that uh, truck to the limits and uh, make it mean as hell. All right, next up. I love this thing. Wow. I was looking at this thing in the gallery the other day. 2019 GMC Sierra 1500 HD off-road calibers in a 20 by nine negative 10. Toyo Open Country RTs in a 37, 12 and a half and a BDS suspension lift of six inches. Uh, no rubbing or scrubbing, major plastic trimming. I ended up trimming uh, the front balance and inner fender liner. Uh, front and rear sides, no cutting in rear needed. Take a look at some photos. This thing is nuts. These photos are really good too. Yeah, looks like, uh, oh, HD off-road wheels took these photos. It's like they're professionals. It's like they do it for a living. But I dig these new trucks. The AT4s are sick. I'm ready to rate it already. Okay, so wheels, uh, HD off-road caliber. Okay, okay, okay. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, seven. Eight. Where'd you go with seven? I think it's a solid like like daily driver to take basically anywhere you want. Uh, having obviously the nine wides means you can go with a bigger tire then. Like you're not going super wide, so you can go yeah. a little bit taller than. I think that's how they got away with 37s is by having the nine wide. Um, Cause like a six inch lift, these new um, GMCs still have like squared off wheel wells for the most part. Right. But the truck's already all painted to match, which is super sick. Like it just helps kind of bring it all together. It's like a very murdered out look. Yeah, I think the reason why I gave it an eight was same sort of reason. It's already off to such a great start, paint to match everything. It's an AT4, um, but only being a 20 by nine. I mean, you're on a six inch lift to see this thing even bigger. Like I wouldn't even change the bumpers. I wouldn't change really anything just because these trucks are so new and they come from the factory already like 
beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, just to see, you know, it take to that next step with the tent, uh, maybe go a little bit higher, get rid of your nine wides, you know, go with a little bit more stance, but I would love to have an AT4. I think these things are super sick. Yeah. Next up, 2013 Ford F-150 TIS 544s uh, in the Chrome 22 by 12, negative 44, and the Toyo Open Country RTs in a 35, 12 and a half. Bunch of, bunch of trucks on the RTs, the Open yeah. Country RTs today. Uh, rough Country suspension lift is six inches. Uh, slight rub at full turn, minor plastic trimming, and he has two inch uh, front and rear wheel spacers. That's and all he's got for details. Lift. Yep, six inch left. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, seven. Six. Why six? So I, this photo right here is kind of funny to see because you're used to seeing like the stance of a 14 wide, right? Which is basically what this is. But he's got 12 wides and two inch spacers. So even though it's as wide as a normal like 14 wide is, because it's a 12 wide, it like it looks like it's like skinny but pushed out then type of yeah. thing. So it's not what I'm used to seeing when I look at like the amount of stance that's there and then seeing right. the skinny tire or skinny wheel and tire together. Right. Um, but at the same time, I dig it. Um, I don't know if he, it looks like he has smoked housings. Yeah, I, I would, would rather that. get a, a headlight that has a black housing with like the projectors or something like that and a clear lens. That way you can still see at night versus tinting over your headlights and not being able to see anything. Right. But it gives it that whole murdered out look. I would throw tow mirrors on it too, personally. Yeah. Just because when you start going bigger and then having small little mirrors. But yeah, overall I dig it. I just think there's some little things to kind of help bring it together that I would do one for safety and then two just kind of for looks. Yeah. Uh, one thing also when I was taking a look at this, I, I was thinking about because he's got his rough country kit, like, because they don't come raw like that. I think only McGoy's comes raw like that. Otherwise it, it typically comes in black. So I was thinking of Nyx and how much I love Nyx, uh, McGoy's kit that's in like the silver. Yep. Just because a lot of the Fords have like the especially the Platinums, they have the silver grill. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so that is another episode of From the Gallery. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you guys want to be featured on an episode of our From the Gallery, definitely add your truck at customoffsets.com forward slash ad. And if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, customoffsets.com. Slash ad. No, slash ad for add your truck to the gallery. You don't... YouTube.com slash customoffsets TV. Peace.